You have quite a few options when using the if tag condition within your marketing automation workflows. And so of course, as always, you're going to the properties to further configure the tag and uh, the property of uh, for how we're gonna be checking if someone does or does not have a tag. So of course you need to specify, uh, you know, which tag. And by default, it assumes that, uh, you know, this workflow will work uh, for the, all those who are applied or given that tag at the point after this workflow has begun. But if you have people in your account who have already had this, work, this uh, tag applied, you can actually use this option to include contacts that already have the tag when the workflow starts. And in particular, if you're using this uh, if tag condition as the start element, only the positive path is going to be uh, you know, working properly. It's checking if someone actually does have this tag and then it can go for the positive path. You can use the negative path, for example, if it is a part you know, within, um, the, within, let's say, the different part of the workflow. So let's say um, you know, someone is sent a message and then we check you know, what's their score or you know that's the message sent and then I could use the for example condition if their score is you know what less than 50 if I'm applying scores and then I can see if it's less than 50 you know do they have the brownie customer tag yes or no this is just a quick example uh, so you can use the negative path if they to check if they do or do not have uh, a particular tag whenever it's going to be further down in the workflow. Uh, but if you're actually going to be using it as the start element, we're just checking for the positive path if someone actually has that tag. Uh, so if they're applied for it or not, well, that's the start element. That's how it qualifies someone, you know, so that's logical, of course. That's what qualifies someone to actually enter into this workflow is if they have a particular tag. There's also the, uh, you know, run multiple times option as well. Uh, so if, you know, it would apply maybe, you know, in a little bit different method. Uh, if you're applying tags in multiple ways or in multiple places and someone, you know, it gets a tag and then gets a tag removed and gets it, gets it again or something like that, uh, it could be helpful as well. But usually, by default, of course, you will just be saying, you know, if someone has this tag, then I want to send them a message or I want to, you know, add them to a pipeline, let's say, are some very common ways to do it. Uh, and as well, you know, when to assume the condition wasn't met, remember if you're using it as a starting element, it's not going to be tracking it. It's only the positive path uh, for people who do actually have uh, that tag. And you can also use the if tag element. You know, you can use multiple ones of them to check if someone has this tag or if someone has, you know, this tag. What do you want to do? You know, so if they have this tag or if they have this tag, then I want to, you know, for example, send them the same message, for example. So this is kind of how you can check for the either or. If someone has this tag or if they have this tag, then I want to do this. And so the key thing to make sure you, you know, remember about when using this is that, you know, usually it's going to be checking for all of those who get the tag after you save and publish the workflow, unless you turn this on. Uh, and then it will include the contacts uh, for whenever the workflow starts. And then you can uh, add multiple tags as starting conditions as an either or scenario if you'd like to as well.